Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js SQLize. Today we are going to learn about the many-to-many -many association in the SQLize Node.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So creating many-to-many -many association between the students and the courses. So here we are taking up the two examples, students and the courses, right? Using the SQLize involving defining the models for the both student and the course entities like suppose one student okay so th this is many to many relationship right so student and the course one student can enroll to many courses and courses have the many students on that note okay so let's see how we are going to do that so first we have the config so let me open my uh, folder structure so what we have to do first we have to create a file that is called db.js so here i am using the config database.js file so here uh, those who are already watching my video so they come to know about that part right so this is the that config database.js so here we are doing the configuration part right okay so whether the database connection successfully established or not this file will tell you okay the next part what we have to do is we have to make a new file that is student.js file okay so we are going to, to go and just add the students.js so here we go with our code here we have the models okay in the models we have to create a new file students.js let's add this so here we have to make this we have to go with the config right config slash database okay so this is done next step is we have to go with the courses so let's make the courses.js file so in the models we are going to create a new file courses.js let's paste this code okay and let's define here the same config config slash database okay this is course next this don't be required so here we have a model student.js okay so here we are defining the association whether you want to define here or you can just copy this one and go to our uh, model index.js so here we have index.js model so here I you can also define the relationships so here I'm defining all the relationships so here we are just adding the relationships here okay let me define the course and the student at the same time so we here we have the course model so we have a course model right then we have to go with the const let's copy this and add uh, another one also course another one is student right so here we have the student let's just replace it over like this student and make it student okay so the linking part is there right so here we are defining the relationships now here we have the post now you can export it via student also and the course okay so this is done we have defined all the associations in this model index.js file done what would be the next step the same thing we have done in the index file right now here we have the main app.js file where we are syn syncing the part that database syncs successfully so let's check this part right so if go with the app.js file okay so here we have the syncing of the previous part so let me do that one thing so let me comment all this find with this and this oh, from here also only okay so here you can see they have the sync so for it will do the syncing part so here async await sequelize dot sync will sync that part okay so let's try and check the database files are created or not after creating that one we are going to insert the data okay in the app.js once the syncing force is true so here we are we are just use this all part right so let's add this okay so let's add this here to this full-fledged code mm -hmm. this one okay just paste it 
so define the course and the student so let's add the models over here and the course okay let's import it from over the top okay. so these are linking is properly worked okay so here what we have to do first we check that the sync database first all the tables needs to create first then we have to create the student one student two then we are going to create the courses courses one and the courses two okay then we are going to add the course add the course with the student one student one and the student two okay so we are just adding the courses so dummy, dummy data here added okay so let's save this and check so let's add the node app.js and here we go data me data inserted successfully let's check the database also so here we have the localhost php slash at minor hp my admin okay so here we have the rest api two and you can see that uh, we have the courses so here you can see that the, we have the list of two courses okay then we have the students right so here we have the students okay one and two then we have the student course okay so here you can see that in the student course what we have done okay so you can see so you can see that the course id is this link to that user if i click on that user that id it, it you can see that this is uh, giving the relationship between that one okay so here uh, the models where are the models part where we have the models that with the students okay then we have the courses okay then uh, this insert into the student course so let me go to the index.js file okay so you can see that here we have mentioned the student belongs to many belongs to many okay so you can see that the course and student goes through the through student course okay whether uh, that they, we have the model part right here you can see the student course here you can see student course is there so we have to create that part student course see we have the student codes and nothing they have defined so automatically i haven't created that model okay you can see that i haven't created the student course automatically when just we have defined into our through student course you automatically create that table okay you can see that i haven't created that table i think that's not required because here we have mentioned so it automatically link with that one and uh, all the data related to that one is assigned to it like suppose we have the student id is one one okay and the two so the one course id is this assigned course id two is assigned and the two with the second course is assigned okay so this is the relationship between the many to many relationships okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day the next video we have the paranoid soft delete note with sequelize so stay with us thank you so much for watching this video have a great day